and welcome to the Tuesday DC Today. Uh, kind of a boring day in markets. I'm going to keep today a little short and sweet. I'm excited for clients to get their weekly portfolio holdings report that will come in their inboxes tomorrow morning, Wednesday. Uh, if you open up the uh, email of today's DC Today, there's a link to uh, the appearance I just had today on the Cudlow Show. But as far as markets today, the Dow was up just 10 points, three basis points. The S&P was up 24 basis points, NASDAQ up 36. So slightly up, but you know, barely in all three market indices. Oil was down less than 1%. It closed still at $71.50 a barrel on the WTI. Um, I think within the market, perhaps something a little noteworthy is healthcare was the worst performing sector down 0.8%. Nothing hugely substantial there, but again, continued weakness in some of those defensives. But then financials today were up 1.33%. And financials have been, of course, struggling, but you had asset managers, you had investment banks, you had uh, commercial banks all rally today. Uh, even as there wasn't a lot of activity in the bond market, I think the 10-year uh, bond yield was down one basis point. It's still sitting in the three sixes. So you've had actually remarkably uh, compressed bond volatility. Um, so again, kind of un uneventful day overall in markets. Uh, by way of news announcements, the SEC announced before the market opened this morning that they uh, were bringing charges against Coinbase, which is the big, legit, publicly traded exchange of cryptocurrency and coins uh, in the U.S. markets, largely appealing to U.S. investors and trading on the NASDAQ, publicly traded, uh, incorporated in Delaware, all the legit things. And fundamentally, what they're basically alleging is that what they do is illegal, you know, by being an exchange for an unregistered investment product. So um, there is uh, a sense in which, for those that are interested in this shiny object that is the cryptocurrency world, you had Bitcoin and Ethereum rally quite a bit, which are kind of outside of that unregulated token space. And then you had um, a lot of these other things just get pummeled. And so ironically, something that seems very, very negative for the whole space, paradoxically helps a couple of the stronger and hurts the rest. Now, when I say stronger, weaker. I don't even like legitimizing this whole thing with these uh, adjectives because I think all of it is shiny object mayhem. But nevertheless, we're a little closer to the SEC, at least trying to codify what they've been operating under for some time anyways, which is the belief that these things are securities. And, you know, when it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, I think you know the way that expression goes. Getting some sort of formality around that is probably a game changer in the space. So I bring it up because it's newsworthy. And, uh, you know, and if we don't have the press talking about how uh, the apocalypse is about to come because of a debt default that will bring down uh, the heavens and the earth. And then, you know, I have to pull the news from somewhere. Uh, I am going to put a uh, drop a bug in here now about Friday. It's a very special dividend cafe that I'm really looking forward to coming out. And so I'm mentioning it even a few days in advance that I'm basically doing a letter to high school graduates that I think is going to cover a lot of the important things you would want a young adult, a person entering the adult world, to know economically, financially, at this given point in time. So there's a fair amount of just generic, timeless principles that will be there, but I really do want to kind of tailor it to this moment in time. And I hope you'll find it useful for yourself and, of course, younger people in your own life, uh, kids, grandkids, and, and whatnot. So uh, that'll be the, su the subject to Dividend Cafe on Friday, a letter to high school graduates. Thanks for listening. Thanks for reading. Thanks for watching. DC Today. Mm -hmm.